Hi guys, welcome um, at the ninth episode of Workers and Resources How to Play When You Have Never Played Before. Uh, my name is Kaya Maya and this episode I've been really, really looking forward to because today we are going to construct our own pub. How nice is that? So I uh, created a sample setup for your construction office, which I, I will go through with you in a minute. But first, um, uh, the last episode we uh we concluded with delivering uh, food and clothes to our uh, shopping center and our prison and stuff but we are not delivering fuel so we're still auto buying auto importing fuel and i wanted to address that real quick so we are going to buy an oil tank and we're going to sort on to total capacity and here we see the vanilla one 70 kilometers an hour is fine by me and for 30 tons of oil, let's buy two. 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 Okay. So, we need to import fuel. And where do we want to um, deliver fuel? Well, at the gas station would make sense, right? Uh, the fire station and our hospital, our secret police, our police. And um, why can I deliver fuel here? I, d I wouldn't know why, but uh, the game says I can. But I, I don't have I don't have any use for that. So I think that's it. And let's go down here. It's all 40% the gas station. So now we are importing our fuel, and you s you see the first two fuel trucks are already going. Maybe I can kind of make it go a little bit easier uh, to the uh, the border, uh, to, to the corner. So that being said, this is my set setup for construction offices. Let's let's first construct uh, the pub. Um, where is the pub? Where is the pub? Alcohol pub. Um, the pub needs uh, to have road access, so I wanted to do it here first, but I don't have road access, but we need to be able to deliver our um, our beer, right? So I thought of, of uh, creating the pub here. I don't want to auto-purchase goods anymore. No. Uh, and I do want to build it from resources. So we can build this. So now all these um, buildings are being built using a construction office. We, we are not assigned to a construction office. We don't have any workers or mechanisms. So for this to be built, we need to set in place our construction offices. Let's first look at what we need for the construction. There are various phases. First phase is usual groundworks. Phases after that can be paneling or um, can be steel framing, uh, brick laying, I don't know. Uh, it depends on the building. I think this one uh, has three phases because the current phase is 74 work days or maybe two phases. Uh, but the first phase usually consists of concrete, gravel and asphalt. Well, that we have set up here. So how do we do this? We have a, uh, um, a aggregate storage here, which I said uh, we can we only store gravel here. We are not supplying any gravel. And then we have a asphalt plant. We have here we have a, a aggregate loading station. If you load from this aggregate loading station, it's way faster than from the uh, storage itself. And we have a concrete plant here. Um, this concrete plant, you see, it needs water. I can show you here. The concrete plant, you see in the middle, required water quality 55%. I also covered a little bit uh, during um, our water and sewage episode. So what I did here is I made a water well here. The water quality is 91%. It's way better than the 55%. I'm going underwater here. And so I uh, created a connection with a pump towards the, the, the concrete uh, factory. 
so that we uh, we can create concrete and also water is, is being supplied we need to supply cement as well and we need to supply a bitumen here uh, in, in, in order to have this running back to our construction what, what else do we need in the second phase we need concrete and gravel which we have set up here um, asphalt as well um, now did these are the three from the, th from the first phase I'm sorry we need bricks boards and steel so we are uh, we are producing steel so we can supply that from our own uh, um, how do you say this uh, storage but the rest we need to import this storage I said to you can have 25 steel 25% prefect bricks and boards just to kind of even it out some constructions need uh, mechanical components and e electro components so because I want vanilla I made a vanilla warehouse but it's pretty big so then I usually do 94% of some uh, material which I don't use and then I, I, I can have pretty small uh, amounts of this because if I would import 50 tons of it I would be bankrupt I have added a road cargo station why because it adds four um, places to load if you are in cosmonaut mode and you can do without this you can do without this you definitely can do without asphalt road and you probably would start with one um, uh, construction office I, I created three here so first of all we need to supply uh, gravel and uh, bitumen and uh, concrete cement I um, meant excuse me cement and we need um, our uh, steel and stuff here so we're going back to our distribution office which is almost full so I probably am going to sell one of the covered uh, vehicles in order for it to fit for the cement we need a dry bulk tank uh, this is 9.488 I'm going for this one for a dry bulk tank and we need an open hull total capacity um, all downloaded these yes next one this one uh, is what I usually in the beginning use yeah so let's buy two of those and hopefully it will fit so what we are, are going to do now is we say we um, uh, we are loading uh, bricks and uh, boards and what else did we need prefab panels um, and bitumen and cement so and where do we want to deliver that well we want to deliver some here uh, some there and some there so uh, this storage we want to unload and say for 30% because we don't need that many 30% of is about a hundred tons of each which is probably all right I think concrete plants it will uh, de deliver cement there and the asphalt plant it will deliver bitumen there um, our um, distribution of this full so I can't do anything about that but what I can do is I can make a line that delivers gravel to there um, what I also need to do because I haven't specified a source for um, I did I, I did specify a source for where I did specify a source for steel so let's make a line with a, a, a dumper we need the total capacity I'm going for the slow dumper which can uh, uh, transport a lot 55 or so I go for this one I'm going for this one maybe put two oh no this is a downloaded one sorry no then I'm going for two of these so make a line 
say I want to load here. I want to load gravel. And I want to unload there. I want to unload it. Let's uh, copy this here. And uh, not click this away. Again. And I go and go and please provide us with gravel. Yes. Great. Okay. First, we need to supply vehicles that can execute our constructions. Um, it, the, you, you, you can gain a lot of speed by buying um, bulldozers for your road construction, by excavators for your um, um, building construction, and buying cranes also for your building construction. In the beginning, I usually have one construction office, and I already named it here, what um, combines buses and mechanisms. So what I do is I um, buy buses. In this case, I would like to have, say, three or four of these ones. Then I buy uh, excavators, like two, one, two. I buy... Uh, bulldozer, where are you? This one is the one two. Um, I buy a tower crane. Um, the speed level is what I look for usually. So um, I one maybe in this case. And I buy an open hull. Uh, which can kind of... Um, carry these ones well i think the tower brain is the biggest vehicle you can double click on it and you can kind of open this window to see what uh, vehicles there are that can transport this tower crane well i see here uh, a very favorite vehicle of mine is this open hull that can carry it go 62 so yeah let's buy one. Oh, I can't buy it here. Yes. Um, so we are going to buy this one. And we are going to say deliver mechanisms only with truck. What does it mean? Our Stalinek goes 20 km an hour. And our uh, excavator goes 18 km an hour. Um, you can load it on top of this vehicle. And then you, you go 62 km an hour. So we need to assign a workers platform so they know where to get our workers from. Oh, I did it already. That's here. And for the rest we don't need to assign any, any anything here. Um, because all the, uh, all the other uh, construction offices um, um, are in charge of delivering the goods. So this is construction of num office number one. Now we have one other construction office and I would like to name them dumpers mixers. These are usually used for your first construction phase. So we are going to dumper and we're going to a little bit by total capacity. And I think we're going for this one. 12. This is this is fastest one two three four. Same we need to do for mixers. Where are you? Concrete mixers. Um, four four pieces of these. So if we need more, we we will add more here. So this construction needs to know where to get the asphalt and where to get the concrete. This is all the this construction office is responsible for. And then we have the last one and the open and covered hulls. Open and covered hulls. That means um, we are going to buy the open hull here. Total capacity again. And we're going for not this one. Um, because this this will uh, get uh, carry the steel, the boards, the prefabs, and so forth. We're going to buy four, 
and we also need a covered hole which we won't use in this episode it's not a lot used so i think i'm going to buy one one is fine okay so we need to uh, tell this the construction office actually we need to say this construction office won't do anything with this so it will only uh, get this, this stuff from here well in the meantime we are already getting delivered some steel some prefabs uh, um, some boards how are we on the uh, gravel no not no gravel yet are, are any vehicles coming our way i think so yes so this is about to deliver the gravel do we have we have some cement here and we have uh, some bitumen here so um we can assign our constructions there are two ways to do this you can say auto search and it will assign the constructions itself it will only assign the constructions it can find right now so um what you also can do is have construction um construction office um how do you say this groups let me first rename the construction offices real quick this is uh open and proper rules this was jumpers and mixers and this was this was justice and and mechanisms if i uh, rename it here you get on your um, construction office you can see what it what it what the construction office does and here you uh, name the building how it's named in your um, in your game so you can assign construction office group so in this case the first group where we can assign these three so you can assign construction very easy and you can kind of drag here and assign your constructions um, even if you are don't have auto search on what um, um, will uh, speed up your construction is to lay some mud routes in areas where uh, it will only construct uh, the the footpath or the road first which it can reach if i do a little footpath like this now it can only reach this and this but because of this footpath it can also reach these areas and i can do the same here so it can also already reach this part of the road so and if i assign this well it can't reach, reach that part of, of the road but at least these two so construction can go faster um ah the source of gravel is not assigned i needed to do that so we need to uh, assign the source of gravel as well which is here so now that's been assigned and now you see the first dumper going its way i'm going to speed it up a little bit to start getting the gravel um, you obviously at a later stage of obviously you can kind of create your gravel yourself by mining quartz stone and have your gravel processing plant and then export to here and so um, eliminate all the imports which, which we're doing from the border so this vehicle has loaded three tons of gravel and now is going to the unfinished road i'm going to speed it up a little bit because i to be honest i really like watching this 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 aspect of the game for me makes this from a great game to an amazing game now the they are going back probably because the gravel is empty and they will uh, go to the gravel storage again because this is still filling up I think this is some steel we are having here and the gravel cars are going a little bit slow so let's speed it up yep always forgetting something 
There's nobody working here yet because there are no buses coming in this direction. So we need to make a bus line with buses uh, that bring workers to the asphalt and the concrete plant. At the moment, it doesn't bother us because uh, we are only creating roads uh, and only the first phase. So the asphalt phase, we're not there yet, but we need to do this quickly. So we are going to have to need two buses and I'm going to buy um, two of these, I think. I think that will be enough. And I'm going to create a route again. Pick your workers from there, deliver them there, go to the end station. We only need these workers, and to be honest, I don't want educated workers. And here I want to, here I want to get in, get out, and I want to copy this towards the other bus. So, go and go. So, now if I look at the line here. We can see the bus is picking up passengers from here. It's going towards um, this bus stop, delivering the passengers, refueling and going back to here. And two is hopefully enough. So now we are hopefully getting... Um, these are the buses that are working for the buses and mechanism um, construction office. You can see this here. And it's getting 22% to go to this unfinished road, which is here. So you can see that uh, people in this bus are being delivered. And then you will see that the construction is um, progressing, continuing. Is uh, construction is running without issues. So here is a bus that uh, starts bringing... Uh, Four workers towards our um, our uh, construction area. So I'll speed it up a little bit. This one is also following, and once they reach the end station, they will divide equally. So let's see where the workers are going. They're all going here. And here we also have some of them going uh, to the asphalt plant. So once they see that the co concrete plant um, has workers and now also the asphalt plant, maybe they need asphalt already. Asphalt is, is being um, um, transferred by dumpers. Uh, now there isn't a construction that's needing asphalt now. So we were uh, right on time. We cannot store or export asphalt is correct because Concrete and asphalt are made on the fly. So, speed it up again. And I think I will come back once we are constructing our, our pub. Because that's the nicest thing to see, I think. So, the construction of the road is finished. And now you see it's, it's already starting with the construction of the pub. So, for that we need... Let's double click. We need concrete, we need gravel, and we need asphalt. So we are getting our concrete first from the concrete plant. I think we are out of, of gravel. So we need to wait until the gravel... Uh, we're, we're, we're having a new load of uh, gravel here. That needs to be a little bit... Um, how do you say this? Um, yeah, we have a little bit of a backlog there. Uh, obviously, we need some gravel margin here. That would be nice. So once the gravel is being delivered here, we see the dumper going and the dumper saying, I'm going to get some asphalt. I think that you're getting gravel. So those three should arrive on time. So they've arrived. We have some concrete here. We have some asphalt here. And we have some gravel here. The next gravel uh, vehicle is... Uh, coming after this phase is done and you see that it's it's running without constructions you can uh, running without issues you can also see what um, vehicles are heading and in this case we can see that we have our flat that with the excavator which will greatly increase our construction speed so where is it here let's see it's coming right here 
what we also can do because this is inside this city we can increase the number of workers or that is working from outside the construction office to increase this then people from these flats will uh, work on this construction site and um, well that 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 also speeds up the construction which is already going quite quickly actually we have 22 workers you see the workers coming here to uh, to help with the construction so we are um, having some more gravel it's being delivered more workers being delivered so this phase is almost finished Let's speed it up and then you will see that the bricks and um, with this construction office will start delivering the bricks, the board and the steel. It will load it from here. So what you see, delivery is on one side and, and getting it is from the other side. With bigger constructions, this, this really um, helps to not be all jammed and congested. So bricks are being delivered and boards and steel you can see them on the, on the process so now i'm going to play this open hull is uh delivering our tower crane which we bought and so where are you here you're coming towards the construction be quick or otherwise you're too late but no so here we are you delivering the tower crane and you see that the construction greatly increases with the tower crane than without the tower crane so we are almost done with our first construction and we have constructed a pub great i'm pausing it why well we turned auto buying off so there is no alcohol and people are going to uh, get a little bit pissed so we're going to say nobody is working here for the moment and then we can say here well um, also buy some alcohol and deliver that in the pub 30 percent 40 percent it's fine so now we have to wait until this this is, is, is going to go um, get some alcohol and when um, the bus is back i will um, come back here so here is our bus with alcohol and alcohol is being uh, delivered here our first batch of alcohol probably a nice cold beer so now we can say um, add some bar stuff maybe three what will be because we are not a very big nation as at, at the moment so now First two people are going to work there or are you guests? So we can have guests now and people are going to want to have uh, a drink here. Um, so I'm going to uh, let it run for a month or something and see what this does to our happiness. So it's uh, September and we're back. And first of all, I would like to uh, show you that uh, we are uh, de de delivering our fuel so we can kind of uh, disable auto buying of fuel as well so uh, or we can do it with that so um, this one is here you can kind of clear all and that cancels your, your buying um, okay so if all is well we are not um, importing fuel so how is our ha happiness now that we have this pub where people are pretty happy um, so so um, let me see population statistics if i say all and if i go to happiness here you see on the right end we are going down and that was because we uh, changed our citizen citizens reaction too hard but you see the line going up again and that's because we are now pro providing alcohol so I'm, I'm very interested to see how how much uh, up this goes but I think that's a little bit uh, too long for this episode to, um, to really look at that. We are seeing that it's, it, it is becoming autumn. What, what I think you also see is the importance of keeping the, ro the roads clean. 
Um, I really like this episode and now you have uh, uh, seen how we can construct our own buildings. In the next and last episode for now, I want to explain to you how to how to tackle problems because we have s some problems here like we uh, don't have enough professors and so students are waiting and um, why are there people without a job where we have lots of jobs here so yeah also um, how to um, tackle how, how to investigate issues with your republic well, that, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.